What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the NBA Slate Starter Podcast. I'm Eric, joined with my buddy Ryan as we break down Friday's nine game NBA DFS slate on DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo. You got to add one more. There you go. <laughs> we didn't quite figure that one out right at the get go. Uh, but you know what did? Uh, what team did figure out how to do something? The Minnesota Vikings. I come to you at halftime. We're up 23 0. Nothing like celebrating. One of the worst teams in terms of keeping a lead at halftime. That's probably a bad decision, what I just did. But you know what? I feel good because uh, just like Ben Rossa, who was advocating for the minus 13 and a half alternate line for the Minnesota Vikings, I'm in a good mood. How you doing, my dude, Ryan? Doing well. Uh, speaking about the sport that matters in the NBA. Oh, there's that. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that Dylan Brooks is in health and safety protocols? Yeah, I was. I wish that came out. Uh, like 10 minutes before uh, the game tipped off. But, you know, been an epic. that was kind of uh, unfortunate uh, that he was going to be very, very chalky. And uh, that was a decision point I did not know what to do with. But it was with so much Memphis value opening up. It just to go away under the field under Jaron Jackson Jr. and hope for the cheaper guys to get there. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening. There's quite a bit of uh, the slate left. And uh, I think you live and die by that de- uh, decision uh, most nights. But. You know I what? Speaking three. of living and dying by a decision, if the Lakers lose tonight to the John Morantless, Dylan Brooksless, Memphis Grizzlies, I don't really know what to tell you anymore. They're down 11 with six minutes and 33 seconds left to play in this game. Again, we're coming to you uh, right around, oh, exactly, at 10 p.m. Eastern time here. So we'll see the end of that game. We should have a pretty good idea by the end of this podcast how you and I finished up on the NBA slate, which is kind of a fun way because I don't know how many times you and I have a finished slate uh you know obviously i have no idea how my lineups are doing because i have so much memphis like most people but um yeah it, it was not great that aldemo wasn't even in the lineup at one percent but uh we've got kyle anderson who's going nuts we've got uh jared culver it's like 0.5 percent on FanDuel going nuts we've got some interesting sweats and anthony uh of course uh, lebron james the guy who's going completely nuts but they need him to because they suck right now yeah, Hassan Whiteside really uh, destroyed the slate. I think uh, those less than two percent, but those who got to him really paid off in massive fashions. As uh, the centers like did well, but when you're getting 33 out of yeah, like Hassan Whiteside, you're in very very happy shape uh, to say the least. <laughs> he was the first guy I brought up on the on the uh, live before lock show today with with Greg and Greg's like, "Are you joking me? This can't be a part of the slate." I'm like. I wish I'd played more on DK today because he would have been a big part of it for me. Even with that news coming out, you have to play somebody at a center position. And of course, Joker, I have a zero. Yeah, of and two. I believe him and Gobert got there. Uh, Gobert did really well himself, I believe, as well. So mm-hmm. it's a situation where it's a lot of people do avoid having both of them. And yeah, they are negative correlated. They barely share the court together. But Hassan Whiteside at 4K has shown time and time again uh, he can pay off that price tag in a handful of minutes. Agreed. Agreed. You know what? I think we can also agree on Ryan. Everybody should hit that like button right now. If you're watching us on YouTube as we're getting going, hit us, give us that like button, hit that subscribe button as well so that you can watch all of our content here at Osmo, which will be us then the process show, then the strategy show, then the afternoon starts up. We'll have an extra 30 minutes uh, at the end of live before lock. We have so much stuff. Of course, the deeper dive, you want to check it all out. So do that on YouTube. And if you're listening to us, uh, this is probably the most important part. We have a new podcast feed. I know we brought it up for all our loyal listeners here, but I'm telling you, those five-star reviews go a long way for Ryan and I. Leave us a five-star review. Give us a review. Say nice things because, you know, that's what we like. I don't know. I would say nice things about your podcast too. So that's that's basically the way I look at it. But anything to add to that, Ryan? Yeah, we're just trying to stick around. We're just trying to make a living uh, off this podcast feed. We are. If you live those five-star reviews, the more uh, episodes and more seasons we can get out of the Slate Starter podcast. So please uh, do support by leaving that five-star review uh, and uh, subscribing to the Apple podcast feed and or anywhere where you follow the podcast. And I'm a Minnesota Vikings fan, so like legitimately, this is the first time I've been happy in a while. But I know next week I'll be miserable because that's how it works being a Minnesota Vikings fan. But you know what? Let's get to it. We've got nine games to talk about to to really give you guys a first look at. You ready to get going, my friend, Ryan? <laughs> That's right. Literally my whole life calling people dude and saying, my dude, hey, what's up, my dude? And you just tell me you flat out hate it. All right, James Harden at the top end, 11,200 there. 
Your most expensive card here on the DraftKings slate, Luka Doncic, $11,000. Uh, Russell Westbrook, 10200 coming off of a dud. He's not playing well here at the moment. Looking at that box score, it seems like he's going to be the guy that takes a backseat to LeBron James whenever LeBron James says, hey, it's my turn to go. And I think he's going to try to turn it on here at the end of this game. They're down 16 to Memphis right now. Jaron Jackson Jr., bucket and one. This is bonkers. I, I can't believe how bad the Lakers are. It's It's atrocious. I thought they wouldn't be that good with this, but this is absurd. All right, all the Charlotte guys are continuing to be out. Trey Young is at $10,000 going up against Brooklyn. D'Angelo Russell up to $9,000, even though, I don't know, he hasn't played for a week. That's pretty crazy to me. He's questionable again with that same ankle injury at 9 k I won't get to him no matter what, even if he ends up playing in that game. Fred Van Fleet, 8800 Our boy Brandon Ingram up to $87, shooting guard only. Don't care. He's playing around 40 minutes a night, and I'm going to have him rostered in some extent of my lineups. Talk to me about the top end of guard. Yeah, top end of guard. I mean, up top, Luka, Harden, and Trey Young. Uh, they're all priced appropriately. Uh, slash a little too expensive for my liking, but damn, uh, in a nine-game slate, one of them can pop off and be the highest scoring player. And I think I like my chances with uh, Luka, maybe. Uh, I prefer, to, I lo- I prefer Luke, Luke. But don't play my guard. Play him at small forward. Yeah, and you you can definitely do that. Just going on the list, you mentioned a ton of great options. Uh, I think in the mid tier, just the guy who stands out to me most, seventy nine hundred year in Fox. I like that price tag a lot. Um, at that price range, uh, pivoting around guys like Ingram, Ubre Jr., SGA, uh, Fox, just getting that discount for very all similar upsides. That's how I look at that situation. The next tier of guys, if you want to spend down, get some value. It's a nine game slate. A lot of news is going to open things up, but Guys like Cam Reddish is probable tomorrow, $3,200. I think uh, even if he's going to get 18, 19 minutes, I'll have interest against the Brooklyn team. Uh, Prince Davis start, TD3. I like TD3. He's a uh, ton time and time again. He's a talented offensive player. 4K versus the Charlotte team. I'm about that I'm about that price tag to save down to those two guys. Other guys who uh, you can take your chances on, Armani Brooks, uh, 4K. Uh, someone who gets a three-point bonus on DK, and he can shoot. That boy can shoot for sure at 4K. I like Armani Brooks quite a bit. How do you feel about uh, Cody Martin, the Charlotte Martin, that is, Eric? Outside of that, anyone else that you like? I think I touched on some solid value options, and the studs are the studs. They're going to do their thing. If you had played the law firm of Martin and Martin, you probably had a really nice Wednesday, uh, being the Cody and Caleb version. The uh, Man, that was, that was kind of nuts, both those dudes going nuts on the same night. But Cody Martin now up to 5,700 over on DK. He'll be a talking point still because he's playing 40 plus minutes a night. He's been very serviceable. Uh, They beat Philly on the front end of their head to head and then lost on the back half here. It's a home game against Sacramento. We know Sacramento can play with some pace here. I'm happy to play a little bit. If he's going to be popular, though, we haven't seen a crazy amount of upside from Cody Martin here, even in those 40 plus minutes. And, you know, he played 32 and went for 37.5. I don't think he needs to play 40 plus, but. You might need to just considering there's nobody else there. It was surprising to me that Book Knight didn't play that many minutes. He went down from 22 to 12 minutes. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if that's something that's just going to be a recurring theme of what they're doing there, but uh, whatever. Um, if he plays 12 minutes, yeah, Cody Martin, he's he's in line for quite a, quite a workload. So uh, 5,700, it's not a great tag. I don't love that, but uh, I, I understand it. Gary Trent Jr. played 39 minutes. Gary Trent Jr., 6,100 here. We know the the plethora of guys that are out here, and Gary Trent isn't a guy that I necessarily thought was affected that much by pressure Sachua, but when you think about it, Pascal Siakam has to play some more five, and that gives more opportunity for a guy like Gary Trent to maybe play some more minutes. And, you know, for me, it was just kind of surprising to see him. He, he was knocking everything down there, 10 for 17, 4 for 8 from 3, 24 points. I don't know if we expect that kind of shooting efficiency out of him, but it was a close OKC game. They lost by one, which is pathetic, but Toronto's kind of been bad this year anyway. I see 39 minutes for him as kind of being something to maybe buy into at 6,100. I I bet projection models might be a little bit low on his minutes, but do you think just having, you know, a pressure situa out might make him a little bit more intriguing for you as well? Uh, Just a little bit, maybe not as much. I think there are some of the other value options in that same price range, saving 300 bucks a guy like Harris LeVert. I think the upside is greater for a guy like LeVert than Trent. Uh, Trent does give you that three-point bonus, but I, I see where you're coming from. He's going to be really low on a nine-game slate, and Gary Trent has 40-point upside for sure. And 40 points at 6,100 6, will definitely do that for you. But 
things have, there's a tougher pathway. And I believe Pascal Siakam is now also the health and safety protocols. And uh, with that situation, Gary Trent is definitely more appealing, but I just would feel sure handed going to his backcourt main Fred Van Vliet. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. I mean, you could see a lot of wonky things and Toronto might be a, a major source of value, which is always kind of a dicey situation against a team that pay, plays at the pace that the Knicks do. So just heads up on this late, of course, value is value. And I have a ton if Pascal actually ends up out. But um, as it stands right now, there's that. Of course, we're going to talk about Chris Boucher, too. Can't believe he didn't close. But I will say that champagne guy, champagne -y? how do you say his name? Yeah, Justin Champagne. Yeah, he closed the game over Pascal. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I can't. Get, I can't get over that he closed the game instead of Chris Boucher. It just blows my mind how much they hate Chris Boucher, or it would seem like it. All right, let's go to guard here, over on the FanDuel slate. And by the way, uh, the Lakers are going to flat out lose to the Grizzlies. There's three minutes left here. Timeout. Uh, they're down 11 still. I, I, I cannot believe how far they have kind of fallen in terms of. The, the context of this NBA season is just mind blowing to me, but James Harden 10, four there, your most expensive guard. I mean, everybody's just priced more advantageously. FanDuel definitely sets up more stars and scrubs here and, and the pricing's just softer all the time. So it should Luka Doncic 9,900 there. Shea Gill, just Alexander 8,700. I guess Trey young at the point guard position, 9,800 Russell Westbrook, 9,600 Shea 87 Chris Paul there at 8,400. You're going to continue to have Booker out. D'Angelo Russell, 8,400. Maybe he's more of a talking point over on that slate. But what are you noticing here at the top end of guard? Yeah, top end of guard. I mean, a lot of similar guys, but point guard, shooting guard guys that stick out. The studs, seeing Luka sub 10K. I uh, love that price. I, getting a sub 10K Luka. Look, he's playing himself into shape, and I think the Dallas team is trying to figure it out under the whatsoever Jason Kidd offensive system is, but they're figuring it out as they're going. But uh, James Harden always has that upside. Don't get me wrong, but I, I prefer saving 500 and going to Luca. Gordon Hayward, uh, probably my favorite Charlotte option. I just think he has the greatest upside uh, out of the bunch. And look, they're all priced appropriately now. And I think they're all returning potentially tomorrow. So they're all out of protocol. If I'm not mistaken, I might've seen that uh, notification from uh, Woj earlier in the afternoon, but going down the list of guys who we should be targeting I think Kate Cunningham at 7K, he's shown this uh, ability to be a pretty darn good basketball player of late. He's coming around and he's earned every bit of the 7K price tag. And against a New Orleans matchup, I'm willing to go to Kate Cunningham. And I like that price tag quite a bit for him. Uh, other guys just to spend down and looking for options. I like going to Nikhil Alexander-Walker, 4,900. Uh, has shooting guard eligibility. Uh, his teammate, Josh Hart. I think I prefer, yeah, it's a close uh, between those two guys. Uh, the Lakers are on a back-to-back. -back. Josh Giddey's 5,500. Uh, he just finds a way to fill up the stat sheet. And Karis LeVert, I like him yet again. I think Karis LeVert is, I think, appropriately priced at, in the mid-sixes. I think we're still getting a little discount at $5,800. And you can go to the uh, Cody Martin again uh, of Charlotte, but just keep an eye on who's coming back for Charlotte and who's not coming back type of situation. Uh, the health and safety protocols can be tricky uh, leading up to lock. Okay. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea i just basically look at it before lock and say hey he's in he's not so that'll be something to pay attention to for sure let's head over to our sponsor yahoo as well uh on the top end of guard it's gonna look very very familiar to everybody else here james harden 48 dollars trey young 40 dollars russell westbrook 40 dollars shea gilgis alexander 35 here chris paul 35 brennan ingram 34 guard position on the top end does not look as strong up here um, it would seem James Harden, $48, is going to be an overpay alongside Kevin Durant here after his uh, maintenance day that he had. Uh, but we're looking at Brandon Ingram, $34. That's something I'm interested in a lot. Fred Van Vliet, if you don't have any of those Toronto guys there, $31. Another guy we could play on every single site. Kate Cunningham, you talked about $27 there for him. Darius Garland, they just beat up on Chicago. He played 32 minutes. I would be projecting him for more than that. So don't mind getting to him. Just a number of ways that you can go. Uh, what are you looking at on the Yahoo slate? Yahoo slate spending up. I mean, you got hardened guard eligibility there, $48. It's fine. Uh, keep in mind, he's not playing without coming around this time around. Um, it's an okay situation for him. It's against Atlanta. He has the upside within him. Don't get me wrong. I think going down a little bit, Kate Cunningham, $27. Love Van Vliet, $31. Uh, based on the situation, what's happening there, Van Vliet might be my favorite play across the guard position across any side on Yahoo right now. Uh, looking for some value 
Kirsten Matthews has been letting it up. Him and Armani Brooks are near the min, $10, $11. If you want to spend down, I won't fault you there if you want to spend up elsewhere. It's a large enough slate where the opportunity cost is there and guys like the super studs, but with a multi-position eligibility and a guard slot, I think you can roster one of those guys in and really get some uh, get some salary relief. Other guys who've been – Evan Fournier has just been very, very disappointing. It's just been like $78 million of pure shit. Uh, for the Knicks situation there. Did you hear that he got food poisoning? And Thibodeau was like, yeah, I'm still going to play him on a back-to-back. Oh, man, he was so upset. Uh, Fournier loved the steak, but uh, he said the food poisoning was as bad. Uh, but, jeez, uh, that just was like, I was like, oh, man, Thibodeau's out here to kill people. Uh, just go. Cool. <laughs> man, uh, after that, uh, Guarded, like you said, it really doesn't – no one like is a blaring pricing mistake or in any new situation right now at this very moment. Yep, it could be interesting. Want to talk Josh Christopher for a second? He's $11. He played 23 minutes. I didn't even hear about him, but then we had people posting dunks of his from the – from the not even the G League. It was the, the Drew League, I believe, where he completely like lit it up. He closed that game. What in the world? I mean, Houston – Winning games out of the middle of nowhere. Now they're playing a terrible Milwaukee team. Where did those 23 minutes come from? And could we be looking at like playing him at a min around any site whatsoever? Yeah, Josh Christopher is someone who uh, spurred Michigan uh, and uh, chose to go to, I think, Arizona State or Arizona. I could be wrong. Uh, if he goes to Michigan, he's a top five pick. He's a super talented basketball player. And um, Houston had a great draft. I really like the um, position where they got Christopher. I like going, taking your chances with him. Uh, no issues there. Uh, it just, he's just, there's guys like Harrison Matthews and Armani Brooks have earned every minute there. And uh, maybe Christopher uh, Silas decided to ride the hot hand there. I need to see how that looked in terms of box score and how well he performed. But it look, if you want to spend down like him, I think he's sub 3 5 on DraftKings as well. Yep. 3,400 on DraftKings, 3,500. So the absolute min on FanDuel and on Yahoo, $11. So just near the basement of everything. Yeah. And, yeah, I think that's completely fine. Uh, Christopher is someone who's very talented, and I like uh, finding talent and being early on it, especially in NBA DFS. He just stood out to me because uh, I watched part of that game, and he was very, very good. <laughs> I don't know, 23 minutes of a guy that I would not really paid any attention to and hadn't received a whole lot of run period, and, well, he got it. He looked great. Maybe he runs with that, so you do want to be early. thought I'd at least throw him out there as a piece of value. It's very thin value, but we're going to probably have better value with 18 teams in play. News will break, but wanted to give you that little bonus tidbit. You know what I also want to give all the people, Ryan? One free month of Osmo Plus Platinum with your first time deposit. Deposit $10 or more right now. Get that free month of Osmo Plus Platinum. Uh, There's a little bit of an echo. Do I have echo on my end? Hopefully it's not crazy echo. Maybe it's on yours. I can't tell. I'm going to double check, but either way, who cares? I'm talking about maybe the best deal you can possibly find, and that is by depositing $10 or more on Yahoo as a new user. You'll get one free month of Osmo Plus Platinum. Every single sport we offer behind the paywall, not just the NBA that you know and love, but NFL projections, NFL, uh, every tool that we have behind the paywall, the premium Discord channel. Utilize this offer now because there's no better way to get behind the paywall and check out everything that we offer there. MMA, PGA, when that starts uh, starts back up next month. However, I am excited for next week to watch Tiger. I just don't think DFS will exist for that. It should. That would be great. But I'm telling you right now, utilize this promo. Check us out. You will not be disappointed. And we're back. Look at that. How are we doing over there? How are our lineups looking? Uh, it's interesting. I, was, I played some NFL showdown and... Uh... Oh, boy, Vikings onslaught. If you could have played six Vikings, you're doing a lot, but you can't. You can only Skull play five. Vikings, let's win this game. Skull My best lineup Vikings has honor oh, yeah. your name. A lot of things can change, though, in NFL showdown uh, in a hurry. I'm sorry for singing, everybody. That's literally a song that they play in the stadium when they score. You'll hear us cheer for more. Are you a Vikings fan? K-I-N-G-S. What? Are you a Vikings fan? Yeah, I am. Okay, let's talk forward at the top end of DraftKings. Let's do this. Luka Doncic, he's small forward eligible, so 11K for him there. Giannis Antetokounmpo coming off maybe the worst game I've ever seen him play in my entire life. He looked uninvolved. It looked like all he could think about was the fact that he wasn't in Milwaukee with his wife and kids and that he was able to go party in Miami as soon as they got done with that game because it was the most uninvolved 
I've ever seen him. It was on primetime ESPN, so that helps. Uh, that's not ideal when you're going to go four for 13 from the field, 0 for 2 from three, 7 for 12 from the line, 15, 6, and 4. That's great if you're 3K on DraftKings. It's not great when you're 10,000. Uh, it was 11,600 that night. But now we're getting a $700 discount against a terrible Houston team, and I am going to just fire that into the sun. He's probable. Fire him up if he plays. Kevin Durant, $10,800. Jason Tatum now back below 10K after having a just crazy inflated $10,600 tag responding to that. We'll see what, J what Jalen Brown ends up doing here, but going up against OKC, this is a Boston team that needs wins. Back-to-back -back losses. He had a terrible first half against the Clippers. Then Jason Turnham, uh, Tatum put on the afterburners, looked really good in that second half, but wasn't enough. I like Jason Tatum a lot. Sub 10K, do you? Yeah, if there's no Jalen Brown, I believe there's no Jalen Brown, if I'm not mistaken. So I like going to Jason Tatum, a sub 10K. I like going to the sub 10K Lakers forwards. It's back to back. One of them might rest against OKC, but I like going to sub 10K LeBron and Anthony Davis. I have no issues doing that. And people are going to be sour with Anthony Davis' performance today. I won't be. I'll be going right back. Uh, <laughs> Why do you love this guy so much? Why do you do this to yourself? I don't know. I, I just, it's a problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> One day, maybe. No, it, it has paid off for me uh, many, many times before. Yeah, I know so, it has. Uh, so I can't, I can't complain. But uh, going down, uh, Miles Bridges, seventy seven hundred. Another option. Uh, he's just priced similar to what he's been. I just need to keep an eye on that Charlotte situation and what's happening. Going down the list here, Sabonis ten, a sub ten k. Uh, unfortunately, Rick Carlisle is in the health and safety protocol, so they will be, I believe. Their coach will be Lloyd Pierce, the former Atlanta Hawk uh, coach. I don't know if that will change much. I doubt it. But keep in mind that situation for Indiana. Um, looking down the list, I mean, we touched on Luca, who has Ford eligibility as well here. Other guys who have Ford eligibility that I'm willing to take my chances on in terms of their value. Uh, we touched on TD3 and Cam Reddish. They both have Ford eligibility as well. City Bay is 5,100. We know he can light it up from three. Um, no, I can't go to Marvin Bagley. I was just, I was waiting for it. I thought you were going to say it. You couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I can't do it. I think there's better options like Terrence Davis, the third or Cam Reddish, unless if someone uh, sits down there, I think PJ Washington, 6,600. There was a game last year where PJ Washington put up 60 fantasy points on a Sunday night against Sacramento. Uh, not to say he's going to do it again, but he's done something. What a, what a reach Sacramento. that one was. You, you dug into your pocket of, I remember winning that night and <laughs> PJ Washington, you just circled it. I, I think that's what happened. I could be wrong here, but it, it definitely could be a situation. But looking down the list, no one really has. The DraftKings is doing an excellent job with pricing. Uh, Landry Shamit continues to play without uh, Devin Booker. Uh, Three-point bonus, uh, long shot tournament play over there. But nine game slate. Sport position is not that fun. A lot of those guys who have guard uh, stand out yet again here. Chris Boucher. What do we do? We just play Chris Boucher, right? Yeah, we do. I hate yes. it. I but. hate it. 4K. I had like 98.6%, I believe was the exact one. The only reason I remember that, isn't that the temperature of a normal body? I believe it is, but 98.6 degrees. <sighs> I, I don't know what to tell you. I want him to, he didn't close the game over that champagne guy. And now that champagne guy is not going to be there tomorrow. So, I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to do it again. I, I can't believe that it actually matters that that champagne guy would need to be out, but he actually, he actually needs to be out for me to see like a 28 minute ceiling. Cause I was like, how did he not come in to close that game? Yeah. It's an excellent point. And I just don't know. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta text Nick nurse real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah. No, let him know that I'm very upset. I know he doesn't care because he's very rich, but, and he has an NBA title, but you know, if if it's not going to be him in this situation, I mean, what, is it going to be Svi Mikhailu who played seven minutes last game? Is that going to be the guy that he trolls us with? I mean, Yuta Watanabe, I mean, I expect him to be on the floor there at least, and he's useless when he's on the floor, but <laughs> God, he is. He's terrible. Yuta Watanabe does not score and accumulate fantasy points. Chris Boucher does. That's all I want is my boy Chris Boucher. I just love him. All right, let's go. Why is that coming up? There we go. To the forward position, we go on FanDuel. Giannis, 11K there. 
We've got Kevin Durant, 10-6. LeBron James, 10-2, coming off a massive game. Anthony Davis coming off a dud, 10K. Jason Tatum, 9,700 there. Miles Bridges, $8,400, probably still a little too cheap. Jason Tatum, yeah, 97, I said. Demonis Sabonis, this dude's starting to come on a little bit stronger. I thought he was going to break the slate. He had one of his textbook, I'm going to put up 35, and then I'm going to do nothing in the second half games there against the Knicks, but part of it was blowout. I don't think people are realizing he might have played nearly 40 minutes in that game. Demonis Sabonis, is he back as a consideration for you as a spend-up? Yeah, I'm about going to Sabonis. I know it, it was a funk trying to figure out what the hell was happening with Sabonis and uh, the insertion of Carlisle's coaching, but I think it's I think we're we're back to the old Sabonis. Maybe the trade tr- trade rumors like have will light a fire under them. I don't know. I mean, I, just, I don't care what it is. I'm just glad that he's playing minutes because it was just a minutes thing, and there's nobody who can come in offensively and do what Demonis Sabonis can do for them. For sure. And Sabonis is uh, an, obviously an elite offensive talent. Yeah, I think I like him. I think uh, spending $300 less at Porzingis is not a bad pivot. It'll be, I think the ownership will be drastically different as well. And then you can spend even less uh, and go to your uh, Christian Wood at $8,200, who stands out quite a bit at that price tag. Uh, Milwaukee front court with no Brooke Lopez, I think, is uh, not as strong as it has been in years past. But $8,200 Christian Wood definitely stands out to me. Other guys who have small forward, power forward eligibility, uh, who, who we really haven't touched on. Harrison Barnes played last time. I know he had that foot injury, but he was lighting it up for the first two, three weeks of the season. At 6K, uh, I think if we get that, he's all set to go. I don't recall how many minutes he played off the top of my head, but I think uh, going to Harrison Barnes 6K just seems like a solid option in my opinion. Agreed. Definitely agreed with that. Anything else on the bottom end here? I'm, I'm just kind of like looking... Jared Vanderbilt's down to 5,300. That's always kind of like a fascinating I think that card. same price tag, Laurie Markkinen's also. Laurie Markkinen part. also yeah. coming up an absolute dud where Mobley destroyed that slate against Chicago. And I probably had a little bit too much Markkinen. I was just like, oh, he's facing Chicago. Narratives aren't a thing. We need to stop. You go into narratives quite a bit, though. So maybe I shouldn't say it's a complete thing. But normally it's like ex-girlfriend narrative, right? That's kind of your favorite. Oh, that, that that is one that I, I you have, love the ex girlfriend narrative. I've deployed that before, but hey, Evan I, Booker season. Let's go, not think, today because he's out. But. I think the favorite one was in the, the finals when Tyler Hero and Kyle Kuzma faced off against each yeah. other. Yeah, uh, I mentioned that a couple of times, but no, I mean I, I take the narrative aspect as a fun thing, uh, just to like, hey, I mean you take it you take it pretty seriously between these Excel sheets and. Uh, tables and graphs and all that. But hey, a little narrative st- street, uh, that's a little fun and flavor to the game. Yeah, FanDuel graciously, graciously priced up Chris Boucher to 4800 and Nicholas Claxton 4500 So I don't have to just jam them 100% over there like I tried to do the other night. That was a complete stone-cold disaster. Hey, at least it wasn't James Johnson. I'll say that much for you. Let's over to Yahoo. Let's do the forward spot there, and then we'll do center, and we'll get ourselves the heck out of here. But Giannis Antetokounmpo, $56. Kevin Durant, 51 Anthony Davis, 46 Jason Tatum, 44 LeBron, 43 I will say, a Laker resting against OKC. I'm guessing it might happen, but I guarantee you Russell Westbrook's not resting against them. Uh, Julius Randle, Anthony Edwards, John Collins. Number of spots we can go here at the top of forward, but my favorite $29 Evan Mobley. This guy is so good. Talk to me about forward. Yeah, yeah. Evan Mobley definitely stands out to that price tag. Uh, looking down the list, I mean, LeBron James, $43. I like that quite a bit. That's a $13 savings off of Giannis. Setting up for Giannis is tough on Yahoo. Yeah, they love uh, pricing him appropriately, making that a tough decision point. Looking to spend down on forward, uh, especially in the small forward, a small forward spot. A lot of guys used to uh, stick out. Then Cam Reddish, eleven dollars. Uh, we'll see how many minutes he's going to play. Josh Hart at seventeen. Uh, the forwards in Phoenix and Cam Johnson and Jay Crowder aren't too bad. Laurie Markkinen at seventeen dollars is, is in, uh, seems like a solid option as well. If any Lakers do sit, THT and Tal- Taylor Houghton Tucker sixteen dollars will be- immediately become a solid solid value option. No questions asked there, especially in the forward spot on Yahoo. Your boy has a sweat on FanDuel right now. Let's go. Can we get there? 18 points. I've got, I need, I need somehow Jakobodal to get to like 35. He's at 25.9 here. I think that that would maybe get it done for me here. Composo going nuts here at what? 
3%. That would be great. 24.9. Lonnie Walker, just be the hero that Gotham deserves. Here we go to DraftKings. We go at the center position, top end. Giannis Antetokounmpo, 10-9. Carl Anthony Towns, 10-3. Again, lest you all forget whose basketball team this is. This is Carl Anthony Towns. He had a face go bare. That sucks. He's facing Envid Mobley here. That's not exactly ideal either, but I don't care. Carl Anthony Towns, 10-3. This game, I, I, it's just Carl Anthony Towns underpriced there, especially if D'Angelo Russell's out. That would be excellent too. Demonis Sabonis, 9,700. We've talked about him. Anthony Davis, ya boy, 9,600 there. Julius Randle, 9,400. Christian Wood, 9,300. All he does is put up fantasy points and now puts up wins too. I don't know what to believe. Are we playing Christian Wood at a egregiously high price tag? Christian Wood at that high price tag? Hmm. I would rather play him on FanDuel at eighty two hundred dollars, but you can go there. I, yeah, let's do that instead. Let's let's run back the tape, reverse everything I said. But it's going to be like sub five percent on a nine gamer on DK. And he has sixty plus upside. Yeah, and the opportunity cost is there. I mean, eighty eight three hundred dollars more. I'd rather do that. You don't have, you don't need to remind me. Uh, you can get a hundred dollars more to Julius Randle. Uh, I think those are all fine options. Carlington Towns ten three. Uh, Anthony Edwards had an interesting uh, post game comment. He says, uh, "We'd be a lot better if Cat didn't wait for the double team." So, I need to I need to read that context of how he said it. But something's up uh, with that type of uh, statement in Minnesota uh, that I need to keep an eye on. Cat might be on his way to the Knicks uh, a lot sooner than later. Oh my God! Don't even. Uh, Valanciunas, eight K. I like going to Valanciunas, uh, same two hundred dollars versus a Peter Piston team. Joe Val should eat. Uh, definitely. I wonder if he'll get if he'll get into it with Beast too. I doubt it. Uh, DeAndre Ayton, seventy five hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I like going to DeAndre Ayton uh, against this um, team. Still no Devin Booker. I expect him to still uh, garner some of those shots that are left over in the offense. Uh, Evan Mobley still. You can go there against this Minnesota team. Uh, I do not want to spend down tomorrow on the center slate on DK. No one really uh, outside of I guess Boucher. Uh, we get that he's all systems go. Uh, I would, I, it would be really tough unless if there's some super serious value that opens up. I highly doubt it at this point. Uh, Claxton is thirty four hundred dollars, but even then, that seems a little too thin. The opportunity cost of some excellent price centers is way too high. Agreed. The center is just a stacked position every single day, no question about it. Mitchell Robinson forty one hundred here coming off. Of, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Can't believe the outlier game. Twenty two minutes against the Spurs. Nerland starts. <laughs> How tilting was that? I, it was quite tilting, but hey. <laughs> hey, it was it. quite tilting, says Ryan. It was really annoying because I had a lot of Mitchell Robinson that night and I had none after that situation. But Oh, that is unfortunate. I don't like hearing that. You know what I like hearing? The rest of these positions. FanDuel, we're heading there to center. 80s, 10K, you can play him there. But Carl Anthony Towns, 9,500, really like it. Let's fire it up. Uh, Zinger and Wood, you know, there's so many guys with power forward center eligibility, but Clint Capelli, your next guy, just center there, 8,200 for him. Jonas Valanciunas, 7,500. Why are we getting a discount on a dude playing 30? He came off of 39 minutes against Denver. Yes, it was overtime, but it would have been 34 in regulation. Competitive games, J Val's going to play a ton of minutes. 7,500 is just way, 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 way too cheap. DeAndre Ayton at that identical number. I don't completely hate it. 30 plus minutes of him. That's always fun. Uh, center position, it's pretty scattered, obviously, because of the power forward eligibility. You're going to mix and match a lot of these guys, but I'm still looking at paying up for one of these dudes. Who are you looking at? Yeah, looking at over there on FanDuel, looking at $8,200 Christian Wood seems pretty darn nice with center eligibility there. Valanchunas dipping, uh, 7500 He's dipping fast. Uh, those two guys definitely stand out their price tag. Even Aiden at 7500 I do like Jonas Valanchunas. At that price there. And you see what's going on uh, with this production of late. Why it's not as uh, elite as it was two weeks ago. Uh, something might be uh, a change, but it'd be shocking. The ball should go through Valanciunas as long as Zion as is not there. Um, those two guys stand out. I don't want to spend down really unless there's any news. I like Cat's fine at $9,500. But outside of that, no one really else. I like going to Christian Wood and Valanciunas. That's right. And that's about it. I mean, sprinkling other guys have tournament winning upsides, but at their respective price tags, it's tough to like anyone else to spend up. It's absolutely freaking Greg Joseph season. Now three for four field goals, 29, nothing skull, baby. Let's go. That did two field goals after halftime. Sorry. Had to. 
Here we go. To the center position on Yahoo, rounding it out. Again, 15K to first for their tournament uh, tomorrow. That is a really, really nice number here. 75K baller. It's the best tournament you're going to find. 12.3% management fee or rake. Just check it out here. I promise you'll have fun. And by because I'm promising that, we have Carl Anthony Towns, $41, and Christian Wood, $35, Pascal Siakam, $33, and Jay Val, $32. I love all four of those price tags. I love all four of those plays. I'll even throw Jared Allen into the mix at $30. Everything looks great there. Who's your favorite of the bunch at the top and a center on Yahoo? Top and a center on Yahoo, obviously. Yahoo always has a much different pricing on center than they do. On the other positions, I feel like they're always a little bit underpriced, especially when you have the utility push position you can roster too. I uh, look at the Yahoo slate. I mean, I uh, tend to like being the mid tier situation over here. Christian Wood at thirty five is expensive. I, I, I would really have a tough time having a lot of confidence going there. I'd rather go to guys like Valanciunas. Uh, the Siakam situation. If you were to play, I don't know what's. I I, I said Siakam is out tomorrow, but I need to check up on that situation. I it could have been uh, misspoke there. Keep an eye on that. Isaiah Stewart down at uh, sub twenty dollars stands out to me as well. Eighteen dollars. He's going to be needed in a matchup versus Valanciunas on the other side of things. But DeAndre Ayton, twenty eight dollars is uh, too damn cheap for the upside he has with no Devin Booker. It's a small I mean, center. Is not as uh, loaded as it can be on a Yahoo uh, nine gamer. We're missing out on the guys as Jokic and B as they played tonight. But that's um, Yahoo doesn't have like a lot of power forward uh, guys who usually play who are center eligible on other sites here. So it's interesting to see how that pans out. But Valanciunas and Aiton definitely the way for me over here. That's exactly for me too. Uh, Valanciunas, Aiton, uh, Clint Capella is fine at thirty dollars. Not my favorite play on planet Earth uh, in this spot, but I mean thirty minutes he can put up fifty pretty easily. He's done it in recent history. Uh, still with John Collins there. I mean that whole center position. Get that right. Hey, how about that for an idea? Let's all do that. Ryan, another Slate Starter Week in the books. You and me, buddy. It's been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Hopefully, you've got some sweats going here. Hopefully, we're sweating some good stuff. But hey, any final words for the people as we head out? Yeah, uh, please subscribe. Leave that five-star review. That goes a long way for us, and we will catch you next week. He's Ryan. He's off to some live finals in his life. I'm Eric. I'm staying put here in freaking Toluca Lake, California. We'll see you all later.